Well, my name is Jamie. I am the Regional Marketing Director of Scantic and I am overall in charge of Scantic Singapore but I'm also in charge of the marketing efforts regionally. We are a furniture retail company located in Singapore, Taiwan and Japan with 146 outlets worldwide. Scantic sells teak furniture. However, we also have Scan Living that sells leather furniture and we have Scan Comfort that's into mattress and bedding. When I first started out in this company, we had no more than 20 staff. Today, we have about 80 staff. With that, of course, managing the staff, we need a more systematic approach, which we did not have. So it would feel like we're doing it more ad hoc basis or we're showing favoritism. We need to get rid of all of that so we can systematically develop our talent. When we first joined, we didn't really need a very strong HR system. We always had a HR system in place. Previously, one manager would oversee a maximum of five staff. Everybody had the attention they needed from the manager. However, now that we have 80, some people would feel unheard, some people may be forgotten, or others may get a lot of attention. So with a more systematic approach, I am now able to get a better feedback. I can have a more fair evaluation. And also, most importantly, how to train my managers to train the staff. Nobody was taught how to manage a team. People are the primary asset of every company. As we grow, it's very important to restructure my HR and my management to maximize the full potential of our team. Most bosses do what is urgent and not what is important. However, in 2016, 2017, something very unique happened. We found out early on that we have seven staff getting pregnant. It is about 25% of our office workforce. So, when that happened, we panicked. It is very difficult to hire that amount of part-timers to fill the gap. We needed to immediately to figure out how to be more productive. How do I reorganize some of my teams to be able to cover each other's work? That was around the time I met Bun Xiong. And when I shared with him this, he mentioned by systemizing my HR in the long run, you know, settle something, a very important issue at hand. And that was what kind of tipped the scale for me. When we brought around a, a consultant on board, the people felt like we cared. They had a voice to the consultant and then to us. And I think bringing a consultant along, they can tell a good benchmark on, let's say, this is a fair practice. In the beginning, they can actually become even a mediator, a bridge, because they would know what's the best practice in the market, what is unfair, standards, what are fair standards, you know, and so we are able to have a more professional view. I think there's a lot more trust as well, since we know there is somebody who knows what is going on. So whenever there's questions that we cannot have answered, and because we do have a consultant who knows what they're talking about, when they feel that they're better developed, when they feel that the company is not, is on their side, when we can align those expectations, once you get this system in place, you actually take the load and responsibility off yourself. Whereas if it's always on you and you can just firefight, you cannot maximize the potential, not just of them, but of the business. I feel, I feel we need to choose a partner that you can trust, who knows what they're doing. And it would be good if you can pick a partner that has uh, experience in your type of size of uh, a company. It doesn't mean industry, but I mean size. So if this company is good with MNCs, and then you try to put him into your SME level, it's very different. People like to do what is urgent, but not what is important. I feel that HR is a very important part of the company, and it's an asset in almost every company I know. But because it is not the most urgent, um, we don't really pay attention to it until something happens. So my advice is, if we are scaling to a certain size, it doesn't have to be very big. It just has to be beyond what you are managing alone. I suggest to take a good look at your HR systems and work on it and improve it to develop the talent.